with Qantas Wallabies coach Robbie Deans. And Robbie, uh, despite a slow start, good finish. Yeah, second half was great. Um, it, it was the 80 minutes we had to have, basically. Um, adjusting to test rugby, getting, building some cohesion within the group, adjusting to the conditions, getting our, our body position down, because test rugby is different from Super 14. The hits are bigger. Uh, so it's a good background to have, and, and the boys worked their way through the challenges they had really well and started to play some good rugby in the second half. A lot more composed, a lot more direct, and uh, there's, there's some good stuff. So, you know, we go into a test match next week against English where we know it's going to be for real, and uh, we're much better for that outing, without a doubt. There's some good first entries into test rugby as well. Front rowers, uh, say, if Fianga and, and Huia and uh, Celestia Marfu to Bullock Scrum Time. They were engaging early, but the boys retained their discipline and, and worked their way through it and did well in that area. Rob Horn, outstanding as well, first time up. You mentioned the front row. Well, one downside, of course, is the injury to Ben Alexander, which may well sideline him for a few weeks. Yeah, well, it's uh, grade two medial, so it probably could be four to six. Um, could be worse. It's part of the territory, but yeah, bad luck. I would imagine one thing you were happy with was the fact that uh, you protected your line in that second half. There was an opportunity, or a number of opportunities, where Fiji could have scored, and a team that's 40-odd points ahead can sometimes turn off, and they didn't. That was the best indicator. I agree. Um, pride they took in their line when, when there wasn't a lot at stake in the game. That's the sort of trait that we can build on, and uh, it was good to see.